Legislators have been blocked from entering Hong Kong's government headquarters by thousands of protesters. The demonstration has delayed debate on a controversial extradition law. It's here the bill could allow suspects to be sent to mainland China for trial. Protests have been ongoing since Sunday when a million people took to the streets to express their anger. Let's get the latest from Scott Heidler, who's live for us in Hong Kong. So the protesting uh, against this controversial extradition bill has not convinced the government, Scott, to scrap it, but it has delayed the process. What's the latest? It has fully, and it has delayed that process. We got official word from the Legislative Council that they were going to delay. It was supposed to start several hours ago, uh, two, three hours ago. But also now coming out from the Legislative Council, another uh, official announcement, and that is they have asked now the protesters to move from where they are surrounding the Legislative Council building. That's the, uh, the, the black building over my shoulder. They're asking the protesters to move so they can carry on with business. Obviously, there hasn't been really any kind of response yet from the protesters. Well, I guess there has been. They're not moving. Mm -hmm. So, again, you know, we saw over the last several hours these protester numbers grow steadily. And, again, you know, when we look at what happened on Sunday, over a million people came out and marched. That was organized. Um, and you saw people from all walks of life here in Hong Kong. Today is much more organic when it came to this protest and much younger. Well, most of the, of the protesters out here are students. And you go around and you see that they've either taken a day off school or, or, or classes uh, or, sorry, or, or work to come out here and protest. But they have done one thing, and that is delay this meeting of Legislative Council, asking them to move so they can carry on with business. Scott, why is this bill so important to the pro-democracy protesters? Well, it is. It's important because of what it is, and that is the fact that uh, mainland China will be able to extradite those charged here in Hong Kong to mainland China for trial there. That, uh, for pro-democracy protesters, that is a big concern. But also, it's generally what it is, and this is something we've seen over the last uh, chunk of years, pl five years plus, um, and that is that China, mainland China, Beijing, is taking more and more control here in Hong Kong, sem semi-autonomous. Hong Kong through the changing of laws, through the changing of the government, uh, who are the people that sit in this legislative, legislative council. They are slowly controlling Hong Kong more and more. Pro-democracy protesters don't like that. And this is the latest step, if you will, in that erosion they see as uh, against Hong Kong's identity. Thank you for that. Scott Heidler reporting live from Hong Kong, where protests continue.